inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Take my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Content, hold your breath and feel the tension Devils hide behind redemption Honesty is a one-way gate to hell I wanna taste consumption Breathe faster to waste oxygen Hear the children sing aloud It's music till the wick burns out
G'day guys, welcome back to another build. And of course, this is inside of the Antec Talk case. I'll leave all parts and hardware down in the description below if you guys are interested in anything we do use in this build. Now, of course, with this PC build, we didn't want to do too much customization as the PC case itself is quite unique and very different to your standard computer case. The only customization we did do with this is, of course, a nice custom water loop. We also added some LEDs inside, and we also did a custom paint job to the red part of this computer case so that we obviously didn't have red in the build because that would have clashed with our theme. One thing that I do think Antec should do is bring out neutral color schemes instead of red because this would clash a lot with other people's themed builds. Say if someone wanted to go with blue, it may not work well with the red on the case, but it would work well with white, gray, silver, or black. So if they do bring out versions with neutral colors, I think that they will sell more of these cases. So we did end up painting ours white, and that was to go with our white fittings, which you can see inside the build. Now we did do some tube bends as well to create those unique parallel lines. This all went into our Touch Aqua Bits Power Reservoir. Now this reservoir does have a built-in pump and also an LED strip, which is an addressable RGB strip. So instead of going with RGB, we did want to set all of the LEDs to white. We do like white when it comes to creating cleaner builds. The white also highlights all of the components really nicely and it looks really good in all of the pans that we do for the end result. We ended up going with two bits power 360 millimeter radiators in this build uh, so there's plenty of cooling for all of this hardware inside. Speaking of the hardware we did go with the Asus GTX 1070 Ti Strix graphics card. Now this graphics card is a really good graphics card for its price. We were able to overclock this to gain more performance than a GTX 1080. So we saved on buying a GTX 1080 and instead we paid for a GTX 1070 and got better performance. For the CPU, we did go with the Intel i7-8700K CPU. This is the last generation CPU, however, it is an absolute beast. It is able to keep up with the latest titles and games, also great for rendering and video editing. For the RAM, we do have 32 gigabytes of the Corsair Dominator Platinum. It had a nice silver aesthetic, which really matched the white and this sort of dark gray color of the case. So we ended up going with those. It was a nice, plain, simple color, and it worked really well in the system. They are also very high speeds. For our storage, we did go with an XPG M.2 SSD. We ended up painting that black because naturally they do come in red, and that would have been a bit of an eyesore to our green, white, and black aesthetic. So painting it black blends in nicely on the motherboard, and you cannot see it stand out. Speaking of the motherboard, we do have the Asus Maximus Hero 10 motherboard. This has all of the features that we need, including M.2 support and the RGB headers, which we needed to control everything in the system. So for the lighting, we did end up going with the Antec Prism fans. Now, the good thing about these is the controllers not only power the LEDs of the fans, but they power the actual fans themselves as well. A lot of controllers these days, they'll power the LEDs, give them all of their functions, but then you're left to plug your fans either into the motherboard or source out another external hub so you can power the fans as well. So this does it all in one. And the best part about these as well is they are standard connectors. So you can plug any fan or any RGB header into these controllers and they will work. Now, this does have support for ASUS Aura and MSI and everything like that. However, it also does have control on the fan hub itself, so you don't actually have to bring the cables and put your USB headers into the motherboard, so you're keeping it really nice and clean. We actually set it white from the controller itself. Our cables are from CableMod. They are the premium sleeved cables, all white kit with the white aluminium cable cones. Unfortunately, in this case, there is no grommet hole right where the 24 pin sits. So we actually routed it under the motherboard because the motherboard standoffs were up high enough for us to do that. Instead, if you did not route it underneath, you'd actually have to route your cables 
a long way this way until it gets to the hole over here. So I think as a revision, they should have a cable grommet hole right here. Of course, that would limit how much hard drive space they have for mounting. However, I do think it's necessary for aesthetics if one wanted to go that route. Last but not least for the hardware, we do have a Seasonic Snow Silent power supply down the bottom there. Again, a white power supply really matches with the build and the overall theme. So with the case itself, I would say it was a really easy case to build in. One problem that I personally did have is, and lucky I did record everything, uh, when you take everything apart, you need to remember exactly where the screws go. There are a lot of screws in here to take each individual panel apart. Now, I took everything apart because I wanted to give it a paint job. Luckily for you guys, you may not have to give it a paint job, so you will be keeping majority, if not all of it together. Uh, for me, luckily, I video logged everything and I was able to get it back together. It was a fairly easy build to build in as well. Of course, being an open case, it was very easy to work in because you have so much more room with it being open everywhere. Now, we did manage to fit the two 360 millimeter radiators in here, so the cooling support is really good as well. And of course, because it's all open, you are getting really nice airflow and I can actually feel it standing from here. So they're actually decent quality fans as well. Anyway, guys, I might leave you with that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll leave all of the parts down in the description below if you guys wanted to check out anything used in this build. And as always, leave a like and comment down below. What do you guys think about this actual background that we're using? Normally it is white. This time we wanted to incorporate a bit of a different background to new year. We wanted to try and change things up a bit. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys prefer down below. Consider hitting that subscribe button, checking out more videos on the channel, lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials, and much more guys. And we'll see you all in the next one.